So right now, I'm at the station. I've reported myself here in a police station. Sarah Martins, you said, um, according to what you posted on your page, that people should look for me, get every details about me, my phone number, where I stay, where I live, how, whatever I do. You are looking for me. So look at me here. I am at the police station. I've reported myself here. And the police are calling you. You told them you will not come. Sarah Martins, you will come. We are waiting for you here. I'm on police station already. The police officer have called you. You said you will never come, that I should come to Costa Court and see you. Meanwhile, you are the one that declared me wanted. You are the one that declared me wanted. You are the one that said you want to see me. Then the officers now have called you. Instead of you, yes, instead of you to answer them, you are now telling them that you will never come, that if I want to see you, that I should come to police station. Am I looking for you? Did I place any bet on your head? Did I place any price on your head? You are the one that said anyone that sees me, you are ready to pay so, so, so amount of money on my head. Now, I have reported myself to make it very easy for you to see me. I don't know what you're doing again. So please, Sarah Martins, come and answer police station. Come to Oweri and answer and see me. Me, I'm a random promise that you're looking for. Come to Oweri and see me. The officers now have called you. Answer them with your team of lawyers. Sure, you said you have your team of lawyers. Yes, come to Umugoma Police Station and see me. You said you have your team of lawyers. Carry your team of lawyers. Carry your, your, your whatever thing you have. Bring all of them down. I'll be waiting for you here with my own little way of waiting for you. Hmm? I've done the needful. So you do the needful. We are waiting for you here in the police station. Sarah Martins, they have called you. They have called you. Carry your team of lawyers and come. Ask one of my wife. Carry your team. So Sarah Martins de deleted all the posts she made about me, declaring me wanted. Sarah Martins need to declare as a wanted. So you now deleted the, the post you made about Mama mm -hmm. Marane declaring me wanted. Who asked you to delete it? Why did you delete it? What are you afraid of? Why are you deleting the videos and the pictures that you made about me? You went to my Facebook page and and screenshotted my 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 this thing, my pictures. Then when they turn on your page, they declare more wanted. <laughs> as who? I don't know. In a declare more wanted as who? When is Sarah? Then at this morning nine, I noticed that you deleted everything, telling them that you don't want to give me cheap publicity. That publicity is is high, it's costly. Then then you can be an any publicity. Le 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 publicity. So if you want publicity, now you should So for your mind, now you you are now a celebrity. If you don't know, you are not. You are trending for the wrong reason. You are not a celebrity. Sarah Martin say, who is the lab or owner? The other go. So there's nothing good. There's nothing you can. Only no, no way here. Nothing good comes from Egypt. Only how much you need to make what it means. You make the meaning of celebrity. Do you know what it means for someone to be a celebrity? I even saw where you wrote your name, Honorable Sarah Martins, like Honorable. Who is Honorable, for goodness sake? You, a Honorable person. Do you know people that answer Honorable? You don't have that. Because you is a Honorable. I go delete that from your page. Stop misleading people. I want each year good name for one night. Go and remove it. I like you, Honorable Sarah Martins. Like seriously, Emma, we will best caption it for Emma, where you belong. You know what you're supposed to write. It's not honorable. You are not honorable anything. You should write this honorable Sarah Martins because you are not worth of anything. You are not worthy of anything. That's mean any publicity. That publicity you deleted it in K and K and K and Kozo. That people should look for me. You want to know where I sleep. You want to know where I KK. You do want to know this. You want to know that. Like seriously, <laughs> you want to know what? You want to know? You want to know how I feed? <laughs> Sarah, it will, it will, it shall take him out. You, you the crazy, so you the crazy, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Martin. It shall, it ain't okay, okay. You want to know where I sleep? You want to know where I sleep? Why are you asking people? Why are you making it public? Every feeling they will celebrity. 
You should have asked me now when you wrote those your long episodes on my page, on my, on my inbox. You would have asked me politely, please, I need your number, then I'll give you my contact. I'm not the type that comes out, you know, to, um, to threaten people, no. I posted Amara's um, details because I want to get her number. I want to know where she lives. I want to know where she sleeps. I want to. I want every information about her because I want Amara to come out and tell the courts how my ex-husband slept with my house girl, impregnated my house girl, and then married my house girl and pushed me out. This is the lies she came out on social media to you know to to pedo and you know whatever that has to do with sarah is always viral so the thing has been trending everywhere on facebook and my attention was called to the post i went through the post and i was i, I, I was just i was like wow i sent her a message via her dm she read and then she ignored me so i want to i want i want to take up the case legally because i need her to come out and tell the general public with solid evidence how my ex-husband chased me out of my house how my ex-husband slept with my house girl uh, uh, impregnated that and married that she must bring the, the the marriage certificates she must provide the girl that he impregnated she must provide all this evidence if not amara you will pay me for damages i swear to god Amara, you will pay me for damages. I have, like, I, like, I have kept quiet for a very long time. A lot of you come out, you say all manner of shits about me. I don't care because I know that you, you people are just using me to trend. Because whatever that has to do with Sarah, they sell. But if, if we go this particular one, ah, no, no, no. I will not let go. This particular one, this particular one, you have to come out and tell the general public how my ex-husband slept with my house girl impregnated her married her you must provide the marriage certificates then you, you also provide how i have been going about doing hookup you provide those i have slept with those i have done hookup with you provide all those evidence if not you you, you will pay you will pay me for damages so stop running eh stop running i'm coming for you I am coming for you. Since you won't use me trend, I go help you trend. That your dead blog, eh? That your dead blog, I go help you trend. So Sarah Martins came to my inbox and um, dropped this message that you guys are reading right, right now. Sarah came to my inbox and was threatening me with lawsuits. According to her, she said she would deal with me. Now, by the time she's done dealing with me, and I will start minding my business. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, Sarah, so you, truly you like it when people mind their business, eh? So you don't like it when people drag you unnecessarily. You do not like it when people bully you up and down. You don't like it. But this is what you were doing to a woman comfortably, enjoying it. You were on a live show dragging a woman that was inside her house saying all sorts of things against her. Nobody killed you. You said both the ones you know and the ones you did not know. Nothing happened to you. So now you came as your rights. When it now comes to you, this thing now don't touch your body now. You don't they pay you now. This is it's now that you know that some certain things are the proper rights. So you know it's not good to bully people up and down. It's not good to drag people anyhow. So you know that's one. But you were dragging a peaceful woman that you guys, you guys already collected everything that belongs to her. Then peace of mind, ordinary peace of mind, you, you and your friend refuse to give her peace of mind. Now, simply, small, small, tenene, drag, em, drag, em, small. Today and yesterday and today, your body don't they shake. You don't they threaten me with lawsuits. You know they threaten me. More like they threaten is it with lawsuit? Like you want to threaten me? Eh? You hold on here now. They said that he that will go to equity, will come to equity, should come with clean hand. I can go on your channel. now. I mean, you just want rights. Your hand clean. He that must come to equity must come with clean hand. Did you come with clean hand now? Have you seen how it used to pain? 
She, you don't see as in a pain person now. You don't see Amber. This was what you were comfortably doing to another woman who did not look for your trouble. Who did not look for your trouble? Now, your own don't happen now. You don't a threaten person with lawsuits. Because you want to protect your friend. Sarah Martins. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Eh? I don't even know say this kind of things they reach your body. I thought you have hard skin. Why are you feeling bad about it? You want to take me to by the time you are done with me. By the time you are done with me. I never even start with you. Come